What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. B L G B T Q I A M. I think I got it right. All them doggone letters. This is stupid. So, Black Lives Matter put out their uh, impact statement, right? So, part of this part, which you see in the thumbnail, is um, part of the financial part of you know, saying they got $90 million in 2020, I want to say. So in 2020, they also uh, gave funds to certain, like $21 million, I want to say, to 33 different organizations that weren't Black Lives Matter, right? And they're proud of the fact that these organizations that they, that they uh, have given money to, 23 out of the 33 are led by the LGBTQIA, I think. There you go. All these crazy letters. Um, so, what you're saying is, those are the lives that matter. Because, obviously, I don't know how many, uh, how many people <clears throat> in, L in, in BLM's... Um, In their whole, how many people in that community died that they showed up for? Like, like how many, you know, I'm sure Tamir Rice wasn't because he was too, you know. I'm sure Mike Brown wasn't. I'm sure George Floyd wasn't. Um, Sandra Bland wasn't. Breonna Taylor wasn't. Um, hmm. Amaya Arbery, I don't know if they showed a family. It wasn't. You know, like, like who, you know, so to have, basically, you, you to allocate funds to a demographic of people who are not just a minority population, but this isn't happening to. Shows a, a, a stupidity in leadership. Now, the Patrice Cullors thing with the houses happened, you know, a few weeks ago. So this is like, you see what we're doing? Yeah, people see what we do, what you're doing. You're funding the gay community with predominantly heterosexual males dying. And then I think about it in a sense of when people talk about black leadership and black male leadership and and you know, and people not um, actually taking care of the community, and then women saying, "This is we're going to show you what what what, what female led leadership does." It's worse <clears throat> because you're really catering to a demographic that has nothing to do with um, with the you you're catering to a demographic who, how you're receiving your funds has nothing to do with. You, you, so you're pivoting financially completely. If, if somebody would have said, okay, 23 out of the 33 organizations, you know, were women, it would have been a problem. But, 20, but 23 out of the 33 organizations, you know, who does it happen predominantly to? <clears throat> Heterosexual black males. But BLM has already said, they don't want no no male leadership, so you you're starting to ruffle the feathers of the heterosexual mothers of the people who have died that BLM has showed up for. Because now, you know, you gave Tamir Rice's mother something else to go. Oh, okay, huh. Mike Brown's mother. Okay, huh? Okay, Breonna Taylor's mother. Oh, okay. Huh. You know, George Floyd, well, George Floyd's mother's dead, but you know what I'm saying? But, George, you know, when George Floyd's daughter grows up, she's like, mm, okay. Or, 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 or his child's mother, she, she's looking at you like, oh, okay. Okay. So, you know, the kid that just died in the bathroom when, when, when the, the girlfriend's when his girlfriend's mom called the police 
and basically, you know, set him up, basically. Now, his mother's looking at me. We're here to fight for you. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Mm -mm. You're not doing this. Because you set the precedence that if this happens to you over here, we got your back so we can get money for this over here. So what are you trying to, you know, and, and you're focusing on particular cities. So, you know, you're going to take this money and put it in predominantly gay organizations to further the agenda of the gay community by saying Black Lives Matter. But it's not, you know, by, by, going, by playing this intersectionality, but these people are black lives? Okay. So how about, you know, so now you, so how about you say what's actually happening to them and see if you can get funding for that. March for what they what they are going through, because you know it's gonna you know it's it's gonna come to a point where people are gonna say, okay, what's really happening to you? Nothing. No, I'm not gonna say nothing in particular, but little to nothing. You got talked about. Everybody got talked about though. So you know. It looks to be that you ladies, though you've received a lot of money, have completely, you took the black church thing to another level. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, pastor it preaches pro prosperity, doesn't help the community, but gets rich and rides off while the the vast majority of the congregation is doing bad. Doesn't does nothing to help the people in the community. So BLM, you know, doesn't even help the people that it was quote it, that it's marching for. You know, so who are you marching for? So you you know so that makes it more egregious. But I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Because all of this is stupid to me. But I'm done. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.